The seat bones shouldn't leave the saddle. When you lose your seat bones off the horse, you lose communication. You shouldn't have to change your shoulders to ask a horse to canter. It puts them on the forehand. But what if you could just ask them with your stomach? What if you could just ask your horse with your inside stomach muscle to canter? I want you to think about which direction your body is going and see if you can get the horse to turn in the direction of travel without using a ton of rein. You're changing him before you straighten him up. You have to get your horse straight before you ask for the change to set them up and balance them. So straighten, sit, then fly. There, that was much better, Rachel. The difference was that you slowed yourself down, you waited for your aids to feel more comfortable to you, you got in the center, and he was able to understand what you were asking. And that's the goal, right? We want our horses to understand exactly what it is we're asking. 